Hey there, Daco03. It's Game Changer here, just using an old account to have a little scan through. So, first of all, 80% attack, very, very good. 32% uh, defense is certainly uh, about right, but can be better. Total fobs deployed too. What? You need to have a look at your fobs, my friend. There, your fobs is all about. Uh, it's all about the fobs in CC7. If you if you're not deploying your fobs, that suggests they're not strong enough, or you've used them in the past once and they didn't work. Um, you should be uh, three level five fobs by now. So that's something to start working on, and you still start need to uh, get those uh, deployed. So let's have a little scan of your base. Okay, so first glance, your base is pretty. It's organised. It's it's got nice gardens, nice lawns. But I'm gonna knock it for six and um, you've got to start pushing these buildings uh, out look at the spawn zone mate i could spawn i could spawn pretty much here and take that uh, peacemaker out straight away i could take the heavy turret out straight away i could spawn here and i could get at you um, and uh, take the war factory straight away you're not you're not pushing me out to these uh, far areas uh, I want to see your spawn zones right the way kind of out here by you moving your buildings out. Because if I spawn here, I'm going to be straight at you. Uh, and you've got to be very, very careful of that. Now, um, you have got a very long base. And uh, that's quite good because it makes it thin, uh, which means obviously you've got a lot of turrets, uh, you know, to, to contend with. But if you look at that turret there, it's actually, if I hit that wall, I'll take that turret out. If I, there you've got a small gap there, uh, that's better. You can see you've got a little bit of a gap there between the wall and the turret. What you don't want is somebody to destroy the wall and, and by... Uh, by obviously consequence they take the turret out as well you need obviously a little bit better than that now what I want you to do is get a lot of these buildings and start to put them in these no man's land zones and force your opponent to spawn much further out than what you're doing at the moment and um, now if I've got the F-35 and I hit your uh, barracks or your war factory the chances are I get two for free because the touching um, you need to obviously spread those out a little bit um, like it obviously the heavy turret will always do do a good job and you've certainly got one peacemaker doing a reasonable job uh, you know of obviously uh, defense there um, but I do think I do think you need to maybe have a little bit of a tweak of, uh, of this base because I think it'll work well for CC4 and CC5 and CC6 but as soon as you get to CC7 where you start to get distance uh, in your attack, so HIMARS, G-M-L-R-S, uh, or things along that sort of line, um, M270s certainly, uh, you'll find that uh, the distance attack will beat your base. Um, so you need to force them out, you need to give chance for things to spawn, you need stronger things to spawn out of your base. I mean, let, let's, be, let's be fair, as soon as your, uh, I start attacking your base, the things that are going to come out of it are rhinos and humvees. They're not really going to cause anybody any bother. Um, you need to be having at least Abrahams or Macarver, obviously, going forward inside those. I know you can't get Macarver yet, but as soon as you can, make sure you do so. If I hit one of your turrets here, the explosive damage will likely hit the other turret as well. So you need to be having a little bit of think about that. You've also potentially... No, that's fine. You've got... To, uh, in fact, no, you've got three turrets off one transformer. Now, you've got a 60% transformer boost there, but straight away you've divided that to 20% um, uh, boost um, because you've got too many turrets around that one transformer. And then here on your flak, you've got um, uh, one. Here on the salvo, you've got one. So, yes, they're probably going to get the full 60% uh, boost. So if that's what you're thinking of, fair play. But... You are dividing that one up uh, quite significantly, so you maybe need to have a little bit of tweak of that. And your mines as well um, are potentially close to your base, 
so you'd maybe could push the mines out a little bit as well so that you know you're going to put the mines where they're going to spawn um at the moment the potentially because of the distance attack a little bit too close and i'd be kind of kind of questioning you know where people would come and attack from i mean i would want to probably attack you from this this point here and actually come in along that sort of side and then um I could probably take out that war factory because I'd be trying to sort of work out can I get the war factory without obviously getting hit by the peacemaker. Now it looks like the peacemaker is giving you some cover, but I'll tell you what, I'd be having a second peacemaker, probably lose that machine gun, have a second peacemaker in there, and uh, make it a little bit even more difficult for them. Things along that sort of line. So number one, your base is too organised. Uh, number two, you've got uh, turrets touching. Uh, number three, you've got weak units in your um, uh, you know, defenders. Your defenders are going to spawn, I say, rhinos and humvees. Uh, you've, I mean, that's better, isn't it? You've got um, the um, far better helicopter in there, the hind, but you've still got cobras in there as well. Ditch the cobras, put more hinds in there. That should obviously make things a little bit more interesting for the um, for the player, um, and you know, certainly go from there. So yes. Get rid of all these spawn zones, they're just too close, they're just too um, too close to that base. I mean, I could, you could literally probably spawn there and then just roll forward. The peacemaker would fire over the top of where the player was. And then once you've hit that peacemaker, railgun's not going to pick you up, the range is too short. Um, as long as I stay out, out range of the heavy cannon, now if I can hit the peacemaker... I can obviously um, and be out of range with high mass. I'm certainly going to take the heavy cannon, so I could probably take both of those out, and then there'd be nothing, um, you know, potentially to hit us really. The salvo, if I was at a slight sort of coming in from this angle here, the salvo is not going to pick us up. But now I've got obviously the uh, mantis anyway. The salvo shouldn't cause us any major bother. Um, so yeah, just have a little bit of think. It's all about spreading that base out. And the base is, is, is rather large as well. Um, so it means that if I attack you from this side, obviously you're going to get picked up uh, by these, but certainly not by these. You've kind of spread your base out perhaps a bit too, too far. So um, bring it in so that uh, it's more of a square type base. Uh, I'm trying to move my walls outside uh, my base as well. Uh, rather than a perimeter method, um, uh, I'm trying to make the walls stop um, um, people using fobs. So I've got my uh, my walls in a bit more of a random sort of pattern. Uh, I'm trying to push the walls out quite far so that uh, when people do spawn in the areas that I've, I've forced them to, they then obviously get stopped by the walls and then obviously peacemakers and things like that can start to work on them. Whereas on yours, because there's no obstruction, if I started here where it says scouting, I could literally roll all the way forward. There's nothing to stop me, nothing to slow me down. And what that would mean is your peacemaker would fire up into the air and it would fire where the player was, not where the player is, which makes your peacemaker redundant, doesn't it? If I can keep moving, your peacemaker's not going to touch us and your base is allowing me to keep moving. So uh, you maybe need to have a little bit of a think about that. Okay, bro. Cheers, my mate.